time. We're going to be talking about how to delete things into the recycling bin today. Now all Windows computers have what they call a recycling bin. Now I will admit right now at times I do tend to call it recycling barrel, so I suppose we can have a good giggle every occasionally when I do slip. I mean we are talking about the recycling bin after all. Now, uh, recycling bins can look different depending on the operating system that you use. And in some particular cases, some people had actually put an icon to use for the, the recycling bin. Um, I would say throughout the years, most of the time, it, to me anyways, they tended to look more like garbage cans. Now, recycling bins are normally right here on your desktop. Um, I have uh, moved mine over for this exercise so we can see just a little bit better. Now the recycling bin is used to get rid of icons, files, and folders, shortcuts, that type of thing that we no longer need or no longer use. Now uh, keep in mind, just like our trash can or recycling bins at home, you do have to empty them, but I'll show that how you do that in the future. Now today I've taken a couple of them and put them on my desktop. I have a Chinese um, chunky Chinese chicken recipe. I've got two picture files. I've got a file folder, a program shortcut, and a Word file that I'm going to be using to put into the recycling barrel to show you how to uh, do the different techniques. I'm going to show you three of them that are fairly popular. Now, um, the first one uh, is what they call the drag and drop. Um, what you're going to do is we're going to start using um, our, Chinese, our chunky Chinese chicken recipe, for example. Um, what you want to do is you want to make sure you highlight it <clears throat> and keep your click down. You do not release it like we normally do. And you would drag that right on top of the recycling bin. And as you can see with Vista, um, your recycling bin actually highlights when you do this. And when you release your click, the file is gone. Now the secular po uh, second popular thing is uh, we're going to use one of my picture files here. Now we are going to select it like we did the last time. We do not need to hold the um, click down like we did the last time. We want to right click on the highlighted icon and it brings you up a whole list of different options. We want to go down the list and we want to find the word delete. Uh, you want to left click that and it gives you a message basically asking you are you sure and you say yes and it's gone. The third popular way is again we want to click it to highlight it, select it and as you can see with Vista you can it um, kind of lights up there. Um, at this point what you would be doing is you want to look on your keyboard itself and look for your delete button. And at this point you want to push your delete button and the same message comes up once again and asks you if you're sure you want to move this to the recycling bin. Now I will tell you every occasionally I'll have two files next to each other on my desktop and from time to time I want to stick something in the recycling bin and I grab the wrong file. Um, and if you look at the message right underneath here, right here is what you call the file name. Whatever you, you named the file, the picture, the document, the program, and that way you can kind of do a double check to make sure this is the one that you want to do away with. Um, if you made a mistake like I have in the past, you can always push no and you're done. Um, in this case, we're going to push yes and get rid of it. Now, a lot of times people put uh, file folders, which as you can see, looks like an ordinary file folder that you would have in office supplies, and they want to move that into the recycling bin as well. Um, I would always make sure and double check you, what you've got inside of there to make sure that, because everything that's inside of your folder is going to be gone. And if you look, um, I've got a documents inside of that and I'm going to get rid of it because uh, I don't need it anymore. So I can actually get rid of the folder and the stuff inside and that's the whole thing. If you're, when you get rid of the folder, you're going to get rid of everything that's inside as well. And you can use one of the three techniques that I had talked about 
it this way. I'm just going to highlight it, push my delete. Yes, I want to get rid of it, and it's gone. Now, a lot of times people uh, will get these icons to the different programs onto their computer that they've loaded on there, and the uh, programmers will want you to put a, a shortcut on the desktop where you can double click it and use it. And it's right there. Only thing is, is it does take up desktop real estate. A lot of times these programs you may not be using all the time and you just want a little bit more room. Um, so a lot of people will delete the icons. For, in this case, this is QuickTime Player. Um, QuickTime Player, uh, I'm going to use uh, one of the other techniques. I'm going to just drag and drop right in there. And it's gone. Now keep in mind, that just because you got rid of a shortcut to the program itself does not mean the program inside the computer is absolutely gone. All you're getting rid of is the shortcut itself. The program is still there. And if you want to get rid of the program, you have to go through Control Panel. And that would either be, depending on your computer system, Add and Remove Programs or Programs and Features. And that would be shown on a different lesson. And I've got that on. I believe I got that on my blog as well. Now this is what we would call a Word file. I had made some notes. I don't need that anymore. And again, let's just highlight it, right click, go down to delete. Yes, I want to get rid of it. There's my notes. That's what I called it. Yes. And it's gone. Now, as I'd mentioned, keep in mind the recycling bin is only used for deleting icons, files, folders, shortcuts, that type of thing. And um, if you look on my blog, you, I do have a lesson on uh, adding and deleting programs for the circumstance if you wanted to get rid of the program as well. But I hope everybody is a little bit more comfortable now using your recycling bin. And thank you so much, and see you later.